Hi, and welcome to another episode of Life Adventure Gurus. I'm Brett Chatelain. And I'm Tom Powell. And today we are in Canyonlands National Park. So now we're going to give you travel tip number one for the Canyonlands. Because it's so vast, uh, there's only there's three separate areas, as I mentioned, and there's literally just three separate roads that lead into those areas, and none of those roads connect. So literally, you have to go all the way out to the, the freeways and around to the next area. Therefore, plan ahead, make sure you know your distances, because you cannot see it all in one day, much less probably a week. And the other thing is keep your eyes out. Travel tip number two, always look for the Carnes. Those are those cool little markers made out of rock. And how do you spell Carnes? Because I always mispronounce it. C-A-I-R-N-S. Okay, there you go. So, uh, and of course, as always, you know, bring lots of water and get there early because once again, uh, these parks get crowded. Uh, so the earlier you get there, the better. Oh, one thing though that's interesting to know, Islands in the Sky get the most amount of tourists and visitors, whereas the maze only gets over 500 visitors a year because it's more remote, it's hard to get to, you have to either go four-wheeling or backpacking. So if you really don't want to see a lot of people, go to the maze. Yeah. Only 500 people a year. But expect to camp and be there for about a week. Yes. All right, and this has been another episode from the Life Adventure Gurus. Thank you much for watching. This has been for the Canyonlands National Park. And if you need any details, go to our website at www.lifeadventure.guru. And don't forget, life is an adventure, so put some adventure in your life today. today. <laughs>